Julie Ann Bightley is here continuing to teach us how to eat healthy and the whole studio smells like popcorn but there's actually no popcorn here, right. right? It's popped, but it's not corn. It's actually sorghum, which my dad is a farmer, so he calls it Milo. Milo. You okay. may have heard that. More I familiar. have. Okay. And I've heard of sorghum too, but I think of the molasses or right. the honey that you would dip biscuits in or something. It's the same plant. Same plant, but a different same part plant. of the plant. Okay. Correct. Okay. So how do you make this? Well, first you have to find the sorghum grain. It's right. It's a whole grain. So you know I'm crazy about whole foods. This is yes. a whole grain. Okay. And you are going to need um, a healthy oil to pop it in, whether you do this stove top or you have a fancy machine like this. Right. And I suggest using coconut oil. Coconut oil. So there's a couple of tricks whenever you make pop sorghum. Um, because it's so tiny, do you see how tiny those I seeds mean, that, are? I mean, those are tiny little seeds. Yeah. yeah. Um, because the sorghum, I was talking about the molasses, that's the stalk. Yes. You just taught me. Yeah, yeah. These are the seeds. Yes. So okay. the seeds here, okay, they're so tiny, so uh -huh. this makes miniature popcorn. Mm -hmm. Popcorn. It's like a quarter of the size of a normal kernel of popcorn, right. but it doesn't have that, um, you know how the stuff gets stuck in your teeth from eating popcorn, the little outside husk? Yes. This doesn't have that. Doesn't have that husk. Right. Okay. Right. So, and you would do this especially if you're allergic to corn. Yes. I'm allergic to corn and I miss popcorn so much, so when I found this, I was so excited. Did you get to enjoy some yeah. pop sorghum? I think we hear it popping okay. right now. Okay. So um, here's a trick. Whenever yeah. you follow your directions, if you have a fancy maker like this or mm -hmm. if you're following your Googling instructions, use double the amount of sorghum because it's so small. Okay. Then what your popcorn, popcorn. corn, your kernels, corn okay. kernels would be. Okay, so I think we're going to come And you said here. coconut oil. Yes, it's coconut the best. oil okay. is the best. All right, and you would just put that in your little yeah, you can container? Do yeah, and these come with instructions, so you'll know what to do. And okay. you can kind of see, I guess, I don't know, we can't really show that that well. Yeah, but um, it looks just like popcorn, and they're just popping around. Yeah. And, and you can um, hear it start to pop just like popcorn. And it'll just come out like this. Uh-huh. And we've got this whole setup over Look here. Look how cute so it is. See. So it's so tiny, but it tastes just like popcorn. May I? Please do. Okay. And um, if you're looking for a healthier way to enjoy butter flavor, mm -hmm. but you still want butter, right? there's something called ghee. Have you ever heard of ghee? I haven't heard of ghee. Ghee is clarified butter. So the lactose, which is the sugar in um, milk products, and the casein, which is the protein, mm -hmm. have been cooked out. Okay. And they just skim it off the top. And so if you're not super allergic to dairy, you're just sensitive, that will make it so much better. You can eat that. And it's a healthy fat. Okay. So it'll help with the carb and sugar rush of eating popcorn. So it would be better for all of us to yeah. go with ghee instead of the full butter. Right. Well, and most butter you get these days for popcorn isn't really butter. Right. It's something else yeah. that tastes like butter. So go <laughs> exactly. for real butter. What about other toppings? People like to put all kinds of stuff on their popcorn now. Yeah. Can you do that with this? Oh, definitely. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you taste it. It's just like mm -hmm. regular popcorn. I mean, it yeah. it's just in miniature. Now, I will tell you, it makes a bigger mess. So if you have kids, beware. You might want a dog <laughs> to come clean the floor for you. You can see this all around here, as a matter of fact. Because it's littler, you're going to drop right. more. But you said in the eastern part of the world, yes. this is what they eat. It is. They don't have have, uh, corn is from America. Mm -hmm. So um, we have popcorn, they have pop sorghum. It's also known as pop jowar. So if you don't want to go to the hassle of making this all yourself, pop by your local Indian grocer store uh -huh. and they already carry it pre-popped. They have it. They do. I don't know what else is in it because of food packaging and label laws. Yeah. They're different from here and there, but it's available. So now, I always learn something new <laughs> with you, Julianne. If anybody has questions about their diet or nutrition, they can always reach you, right? Absolutely. Um, hit me up on my Facebook page or through my email or my website. Um, everything's under construction right now, so be patient. Yeah. Um, this is happening. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I, they they were looking at your information. She rubbed oh, her fine. belly, and she <laughs> is pregnant. First yes. time. First time First and time only. First time, mommy. Only. <laughs> we'll see if that holds true. Uh, when are you due? Uh, well, we're thinking December, but it's more like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay, so. a little bit earlier. We'll yeah. see you between now and oh, then. Absolutely. But if you have any questions, you're allergic to something, you just don't know how you can enjoy good things like this, Julianne will fix it so that you can. Absolutely. Like yummy popped sorghum. Thank you, Julianne. Thank you, Melinda. There's more information on your screen there, and we'll be back with more of Saturday Daybreak after this.